It's been three weeks since two masked men robbed the Bank of Guam branch in Jigo. Police have been working with the Federal Bureau of Investigation and other law enforcement tracking any potential leads to hold the two men responsible. Chief of Police Fred Berdalio addressed the media today. I'll say they're new leads and I don't want to compromise the investigation right now that uh, looks promising in terms of some of the uh, information that detectives are looking at. Police released the bank surveillance footage several weeks ago showing the entire armed robbery that lasted less than two minutes. The suspects, fully covered with long clothing and masks, walk into the bank demanding everyone to get on the ground. One suspect proceeded to take money from the teller drawers, stuffing it into his backpack as the other suspect paced back and forth. The two men ran out of the bank and fled toward the jungle area behind the bank. For the last several weeks, local and federal authorities have dedicated significant time and resources looking for any leads. Chief Berdalio wouldn't say if the recent discovery of stolen firearms and seven arrests was connected with the ongoing bank robbery investigation. He did confirm that individuals have been questioned about it. When we're um, engaged in a case uh, such as the one that you just, uh, just mentioned, you know, um, our detectives uh, routinely will be asking, especially uh, uh, the uh, a case involving, uh, you know, those firearms and uh, there's some, it's connected to uh, drugs, that uh, they're, they're, they will be asking, especially when information comes out about uh, any knowledge of the uh, um, Bank of Guam. But I don't want to, um, you know, um, give any more information in regards to if there's any connection to that. Guam Crime Stoppers is offering a $1,000 reward for anyone who provides information leading to the arrest of the two bank robbers, and police are urging the public to come forward with any information by contacting 472-8911. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Mindy Egan.